По итогам девятого дня общенациональных протестов во Франции сообщается о более чем 400 задержанных. Раздаются голоса о том, что задержания были произвольными. Многие из оказавшихся за решеткой не имели никакого отношения к акциям. En fait, il n'était pas à Opéra, donc il n'était même pas avec les Black Blocs, il était dans le cortège avec euh, ses camarades euh, lycéens. Et, euh, et il y a eu cette charge hyper violente. Участники акции при этом заявляют, что, несмотря на реакцию властей, не намерены прекращать протесты. Over 400 people have been detained across France on Thursday following demonstrations that have turned violent and many remain in custody today. What you see behind me is uh, friends and family members of people who are detained here in Paris's 17th district. Many have come here in the early hours of Friday to demand their loved ones release and saying that what's happening here in this country is very worrying that the government is using the police against its own people. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see uh, what happens in the coming days, but tensions are very high with government officials multiplying statements today, conveying their disappointment at this turn of events. Clearly, the government was expecting protests to die down following the adoption of that controversial reform of the pension system. But that is not what's been happening. Protesters yesterday, more than three million people in the streets of France, according to unions, saying that they're going to continue their fight until the government drops this reform and have called for another major day of action on Tuesday. But we're also expecting more of these informal gatherings to continue over the next few days, over the next few evenings, and therefore more tension and more arrests. Annelise Bors is in Paris for Euronews.